bright and early this morning. The HVAC contractor is on site to start demolition on removing the old furnace and outdoor AC unit. And then next week, they will start the process of installing the new unit. We chose to go with a heat pump slash backup propane furnace and it should give us a lot of efficiency and a nice low heating cost for the small size of the house. Uh, the geothermal unit was about twice as expensive so uh, my parents opted not to go with that at this time but uh, the one that they did chose to go with it's really good it's a train system so it should work just great. So in this video we're going to be talking about and detailing the removal of the old system and the installation of the new system and it is quite a project because every bit of the old duct work has to be removed and the furnace is going to be relocated into the basement from the first level. As you just saw, they removed the furnace, the old one, and this is what was left. So this will floor will have to be replaced here. And down here in the basement, all this old trunk line is going to be removed. I started that process over here. See, we've got some of the new plenums brought in already. furnace is going to go over in the utility area over here. You can see he started working to remove the AC lines. The gas piping is going to be replaced as necessary as well. Alright, so day one of the HVAC system is complete and all of the old system has been torn out. And as you can see, it's in a pile here behind me. 
That's most of the old vents. There's a whole another collection of mouse crap that is now all over the floor. It was all over the top of the vent systems. So that'll all be cleaned out of here. And I also were able to get the new system set in place, at least the inside unit. And we have new gas line that has been preliminarily installed. Here's where it comes in the house. Runs over here. And it's going to connect over to the stove right there. So they got a lot done on their first day. We'll continue next week with the rest of the process. So it's the end of day two for the HVAC installers. They came through today and cut holes for the cold air returns, which are a little bit larger than the supply lines. Cut another hole in the kitchen, another cold air. Pretty much a cold air return in every bedroom. They, w they wanted to run it up in the walls, but these two by three walls, they said they're not big enough to support the airflow they need to run it up in the wall. So they had to use the floor. This be plenty of cold air return. Down in the basement, the gas pipe is completed. And the propane company came out today and charged up the tank and did an inspection on it. Just got the first supply trunk run off the back of the furnace. And then a bunch of metal ready to start forming the lines for tomorrow.
actually got a ton done today. Got this whole mainline trunk run all the way across the basement. And then the second trunk, the cold air return, has been run all the way across. And then each cold air return, as it goes up, is fabricated like this box. There's heating ducts that run to the basement. So overall, it was a very productive day four for the HVAC system. One issue that came up today was this trunk was all the way against the block. And since the basement walls are gonna be refinished, that wasn't gonna work. So they cut it back about three inches for me. So that's good. Besides that, that's been the only problem. So tomorrow I should probably finish up the rest of the ductwork. The furnace is actually hooked up and running. All the cold air returns aren't hooked up, but the thermostat does work. It's set to 65 degrees, so we're now running on the gas furnace instead of all the electric heaters, which is a good thing. done with all the HVAC work and another technician just showed up to go over everything and make the final adjustments. Well, it's Friday. It's been the end of a long but very productive week and the HVAC install is completed. I'd like to say thanks to all the guys at Advanced Heating and Cooling. Did a very good job. Hope you enjoyed this episode of From Hoarder House to Home. Like and subscribe. Leave a comment below. There'll be plenty more to come. Thanks.